Uh, hi guys, back again. Um, just thought I'd do a short video, just a revisit basically um, on the 001, 002, uh, that was for Gary. Um, I missed, didn't point something out uh, in the previous video. What I've done with this one, I've actually set it up the way yours is at the moment. Um, yeah, I pointed out the backing plate and the return spring. They're definitely the, that's, the return spring is definitely the problem in this bacon uh, plate because of that tear is, is a problem as well but um, this is how yours is set up now obviously that's incorrect because the top part of the return spring should be over the um, actual post but what's happened with yours because the spring is actually broken here and it's and what's left over is actually just bent over in this direction here so it's overriding that uh, main post on the backing plate every time so when you turn it it's overriding and staying in that position uh, which still works to you know to a point still got a bit of uh, spring tension that's why the handle is in that position uh, as opposed to being in that position so yeah pretty confident if you change that main uh, hub return spring in the backing plate I think most of your problems will be sorted um, with that one um, also I've, I've, um, I've put that yeah, safety uh, release hub back on the uh, plug uh, I just want to point out how it works actually um, yeah that's obviously on the spring tension what happens with that uh, if you leave your house and you can actually physically with the key turn it 360 degrees and uh, put it into the uh, deadlock function which would go show a red red as opposed to green which would lock the inside hub so if someone does get in the house they're not going to make going out through that door uh, but when you come home at night um that's the backing plate yeah, when you come home, obviously the cylinder spindle goes through there. So when yeah, when you turn your key, uh, open your door. Depending which direction you turn your key, either one of these little uh, nodules on the that's a you know an extra way to ring would um, right over that little uh, would diamond head part and uh, when it did that it automatically released the hub so that would go to green and it's three turning straight away I mean the reason for that was back in the day uh, with the version one um, uh, which is this one here um, if it physically locked that the hub and left the house but when you come home um, Uh, that's the yeah, the backing mechanism for the lock so when you come home and turn the key the cylinder bar would obviously retract the uh, latch you'd walk in but unfortunately it, this was always locked the only right way to release that was actually physically uh, turn it 360 with the key again uh, yeah they changed introduced the, um, that idea the safety release for I think there's a couple of occasions back in the day where people uh, got trapped in their houses uh, through fire so so for a safety uh, safety reasons they've changed it over to yeah the, the uh, quick release safety feature which is uh, yes yeah, good idea also um, uh, rookie lock made a comment he's got a two yeah a 334b45 but he's has got the extended shackle as opposed to the standard this is a standard one he's probably got the next size up which i don't think he's very fond of you can tell he wasn't happy <laughs> anyway uh, i want to know if you can change the shackle but um not really uh, i mean you can everything is possible in life uh, but you're gonna have to start drilling holes where you're not you know supposed to be to remove it um i've actually taken this apart just for the sake of time um let's see obviously the cylinder and the you know the shell that's one of the balls uh, for the shackle and that's the actual 
actuator that goes down there. Uh, problem being with the shackle, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty hard to pick up with the camera. Anyway, you'll, you'll, you'll see, rookie. Take the actuator out, and you'll see. It'd be pretty evident what the um, issue would be. Anyway, like I said, there's a metal in, metal pin that goes through there, which in turn goes for a little, another little uh, piece of metal, which is acts like a uh, roller bearing. Um, and that entraps the ball in that area. Uh, it can't, the ball can't go foot, and you can't go in that direction because of that that, um, that little uh, pin and uh, little yeah all the bearing. So yeah, and uh, yeah, obviously you can't see it, but at the end of the inside the actual log body, at the end of the shackle. There's like a recess there where the ball can't go th any further than the end of that shackle. So it's, the ball's entrapped in there. So you, you can't, you're not going to be able to change it, unfortunately. But you, yeah, like I say, if you're prepared to make, drill a hole, you can do it. Just have to find out where the uh, that pin would would lie in relation to the front and drill a, a hole of the same diameter as the pin. Uh, probably punch the pin out. Um, you will see it anyway when you take yours apart. Um, take the little insert out, drop the ball, take the shackle out, put the shackle back, ball back, and reinsert the pin. But uh, you're going to end up with a, a tiny hole on the face of the lock. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's up to you, but any other option is to actually get one with a standard shackle. So anyway. Um, what else is there? Yeah, seven minutes. Just hang on one sec, please. Sorry about that. Should bloody pause the video. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, what I was thinking of doing, um, I just for bloody for shits and giggles basically there's no reason rhyme or reason why um i've got some bits and pieces here sitting there collecting dust so i'd rather sort of give them away to someone so what i might do is just a, a random giveaway but i mean it's not the greatest you know, gift box in the world but it's all it's all new stuff so what i'll do i'll just show you what i've prepared prepared to give away uh probably in a couple of weeks time but i haven't decided what how how that uh, prize is going to be earned, uh, but um, yeah, it's only going to relate to people that actually, you know, have subscribed to me and watch my and watch the videos. Um, at the end of the day, I'm not I'm not going to hold up a gun to someone's head to subscribe or like. You know, if you've subscribed, that's fine. If you're not, you know, it's no drama either. Uh, yeah, I'm not in it for the subs and such. I just I enjoy sort of helping out if I can. So anyway. Um, but like I said, I haven't decided what the rules and regulations are going to be. It'd be a couple of weeks away anyway, so, but I'll, yeah, I'm not going to give away for the sake of giving away. You're going to have to earn, earn your right to be in the draw. I'm not going to make it too severe. Um, I was going to actually watch Potty's video, um, with the big bunch of keys, so that was, a, that's a great idea, but I don't want to use that. It's like, you know copying the guy, I don't, so I won't do that, I'll think of something in the meantime, anyway, um, uh, this is what I'll, you can have if you, you know, if you want to go into the drawer, um, get rid of the stuff on top, um, yeah, it's an Avis, some titanium, um, yeah, waterproof security pack, uh, yeah, it's pretty bicycle lock. I mean, personally, I, you know, you probably throw that bloody shit away, that bloody cable lock. You know, you can probably cut that with a pair of tweezers. But anyway, um, the lock itself is a yeah nice little keepsake. So that's the uh, part of it. Um, the old famous you know locksmith form. That's the one I sort of constructed the other couple of videos back. So. That's included. Um, 
003 fire uh, MFS type fire brigade lock uh, brand new of course uh, in the box um, yeah comes with the 003 keys already cut obviously um, uh, 232 old new stock probably 90s from the 90s so uh, little 232 padlock yeah like old new stock brand new uh, yeah they're, they're a little fun little lock to pick actually they're very responsive so that's included uh yeah 201 rim again new old stock from the 90s probably brand new keys uh, ready to go uh, yeah so that's what we'll have a look be sure they have little bevel pins in it so that's a different uh, little beast to pick open uh yeah brand new uh, 2 ram um she's three or four months old five months old never used this is yeah come up with a lock installation i did and uh they weren't too fast about the new cylinder because they, they sit on the in the door was nearly brand new anyway so I gave them the uh, inside lock body and uh, I kept that. I did take a bit of money off the price as well. I didn't, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> um, and this is the yeah, 570 Klein, but it's not a standard one. It's actually a, a challenge lock. It's not made by me. It's made from a guy in New South Wales. He sent it to me. Just to, And it's, yeah, it's a very, very talkative lock. Yeah, homemade spools. Pretty sure it's standard bottoms, but the, and the the way the workmanship in the spools, she, you know, compared to mine, this is like, this is like bloody uh, you know, caviar, and my pins are like bloody you know, stale bread. Yeah, that's the comparison anyway. I'm not into, yeah. I've got a few channels locks out there, but yeah, I've just I don't put my heart into them. I've just, just yeah, you know, fluff them together real quickly with, um, with no sort of thought or design uh, yeah i haven't got the patience that you know, like you guys have got to make those pins that yeah uh, hence my name cranky uh, yeah uh so yeah i think the only decent channels like i made was the black widow uh, we did for bill uh, i put a bit of time into that one uh, but the rest of she got slapped together basically what they are they're just glorified bloody stock locks really uh, yeah it's not my cup of tea like when you come home after work, the last thing you want to do is put your photo around your locks, you know. But, you know, it's like a baker, yeah, you know, when he comes home from work, yeah. You know, he doesn't want to like, you start baking bread again at night, so. Anyway, um, that's it, so, yeah. So in a couple of weeks, I'm not going to advertise it as a giveaway, I'll just do it discreetly in a video at any given time, so. Um, and we'll go from there. But uh, in the meantime, I'll think of a way to, well, yeah, some rules and regulations to, to be eligible to be in. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to make it ridiculously hard. Give everyone a fair go. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll get back to to that in the future. Uh, yeah, I'll pull the pin now. It's getting a bit late in time, so. Uh, if you're watching, thanks for watching, um, and until next time, I'll take care and I'll see you later. Bye.